Hey friend, I'm sending you peace wherever you are. I hope your day is going well. And that you're taking care of yourself. What if life wasn't about suffering? What if the whole thing is not as I have understood? What if the way I was looking at life is nothing close to the truth? Have you ever asked yourself questions like these? I want you to consider what I'm about to say and not take it as the truth but just give yourself a chance, an opportunity to think about it, to process it, to check if it's right for you, if it fits your perception, or you can just leave it. My hope from this video is to give you another perspective so that it might give you not only hope but inspiration to be able to deal with your life circumstances all the ups and downs because I know you've been listening to so many people especially those who talk about positivity and stuff like that. And yes, sometimes we feel so high and we want to celebrate and dance. Yes, sometimes we, we really want to think positively so we don't allow the uh, negativity to take us down. But it's not always the case. Sometimes you're just going through a tough time and positivity is not going to solve it. And so you get disappointed like every time because positivity is not able to serve you all the time and so you go like I tried everything and nothing is working out but I want you to think about this have you really tried everything have you really explored all the aspects of life, all the ways to live life, all the things in life? Have you ever, have you met all of the people in the world? Have you thought in every single way to get out of your problems? Have you read all the books in the world? Have you studied in every single university? Have you traveled to every single country? I want you to understand that questions will always lead to answers. And here's the thing, we usually ask questions that have no purpose but complaining and playing victims. Why is this happening to me? And I get it. We go through tough times. We have ups and downs and we almost want to give up sometimes, right? But that does not mean that we can't ask different questions, wiser questions that are more enlightening, that will lead us to answers that we really need. And so what if you ask yourself 
questions like What's the purpose of this specific problem? What is it trying to teach me? And not only that, let's go even wider. Why am I here on earth? And I'm not asking this question out of blaming and having frustration from life. No. What if there is a purpose in my life? What if there is a purpose in my circumstances? What if there is a purpose in my problems? What if there is a purpose in every single day that I have left up until today? What if reality is really nothing like I've ever thought? What if my whole life has led me to where I am right now because there's a bigger purpose and that purpose is bigger than me as a person. It's not about me only. It's not personal. All of the problems, all of the issues, what if they weren't personal? What if they weren't to attack me and destroy me as a person, as an individual? What if I had to go through this in order for me to be to become wiser to grow to learn more and then to be able to be the light in everyone else's life okay these are just questions you're not supposing that this is the truth you're only questioning. You're only raising smart questions, wise questions that will definitely lead you to your own answers. And so, if you want to know if people are asking the right questions, look at the majority of the population and observe them. Do you think they are doing what they are doing because they know it's right or because they are told it's right? Do you think the suffering of most people on earth is because they're following their heart and they're asking the right questions or is it because they're asking the same questions everyone else is asking and basically questions that are coming out of playing victim, out of blame, out of complaining, right? And so, yeah, we go through hardships. There's positivity, there's negativity, there's, you know, whatever you call it, that is in the middle, neutral state. And we go through all of these. But we really want to be able to deal with the hard times because when things are easy, there's nothing we need to do. When life is flowing naturally and we are happy, there's nothing we need to do here, right? There's no problem to solve. When things are neutral, we're not feeling anything about anything. This is also natural. It's even more natural to feel neutral about things it's not good it's not bad it's just is it just is but then there's the negative side of things there's the hardship we call it negative because we see it on the surface as something bad right 
So how do we deal with these tough times? It, that's, the, that's the question that we need an answer to, right? And so that's why I made this video, to help you go through the hard times. You don't need guidance in the easy times. You, you got it, right? And when, do, when you don't feel anything about anything, you also got it, there's no problem. But when you are going through a hard time, you don't want to suffer, do you? And so, it's so important to focus on the type of questions that you ask when you go through hardships, okay? Now, I'm not saying that you don't, you're not supposed to cry or you're not supposed to feel bad or you're not supposed to feel that way or this way. I mean, human emotions. Let them be. But as Ralph Smart used and is still saying, um, don't live there. It's okay to feel emotions. It's all right to go through these mood swings and different states. Just don't live there. And how do you guarantee that you don't live there? The faster you ask wiser questions, the quicker you get out of the problem. And so in the big picture, if you want to look at it, you need to be honest with yourself and say, I'm doing my best. I'm being my best. And I'm asking the best questions I can ever ask. There's nothing else I need to do but deal with whatever is available right now. Because think about it, how many times have you gone through something that was so difficult that you wanted to give up and three years later, when you look back at it, it's so hilarious, it's so funny that you wonder why at that time you weren't able to fix it or deal with it. Now you are laughing at it. And so maybe what you are going through right now, even though it's so difficult, might become so funny when you look at it, when you look back at it a year from now, two years from now, or three years from now. So my friend, I want you to take care of yourself by never ever destroying yourself by your own thinking. This mind, well, this is the brain. Your brain can be controlled, but it also can control you and the choice is yours. Are you allowing the repetitive programming, the old way of thinking that is not yours, that is coming from different programs from the environment, from the past, from the parents, from school, from past experience or experiences. So you need to be aware of not only the problem and what's out there, but how you deal with it. That's the only way to grow. That's the only way to become wiser. Wisdom doesn't come from the outside world, not from books, not from me, not from videos, not from anywhere outside. Wisdom is 
and your heart. And when you accept the situation and take it as an opportunity to grow, even when you don't know why this is happening for you, you just surrender and you say, you know what? I'm just going to accept it as it is. I can't change it. And let's see what happens. And then magic happens. Indeed, it does. There's no other way to grow than acceptance. You might have, you might have heard that a lot. Because it is the only way to grow is to accept what has happened. To accept yourself and to stop feeling guilty. And if you stop feeling guilty, there won't be any shame. If you're not guilty within you, there's no problem when it comes to other people perceiving you or your situation. You're not worried about judgments because you don't feel guilty. But it started with you. How you deal with yourself. How much you open your heart to difficulties and to listens. So I hope this video inspired you and gave you something of value. And I trust that you will never destroy yourself by yourself again. Thank you, friend, for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care.